guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Dr. Adams coming to you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Batman Arkham City Series 1 Harley Quinn action figure. And as you can see, obviously she's got the new kind of outfit that she has in the Arkham City game. Now we'll get into the figure obviously more a little bit later on. We will open her up, but you got the really nice kind of newish Batman Arkham City logo here. You still got the, uh, the cowl shape that all the Arkham City and Arkham Asylum figures have had. But in the background, you can kind of sort of see it uh, other, other than me right there. <laughs> Uh, you you have Arkham City there in the background. Flip around here on the back. You got the little read up that you have, which I'm not going to read because I've already read it several times. And coming up to the top, you see all three of the figures in the first series. That being Harley, the infected version of Batman, and of course, Robin. So this ends my series one reviews for the Arkham City figures. Um, it's, a, it's a nice figure. I honestly don't mind it that much, but really when it comes down to it, this is the only one of the three that I really actually do like. And I don't even like her all that much. Uh, we'll, we'll get we'll get into all that stuff later on. Uh, but just realize, guys, that these Arkham City figures really haven't impressed me thus far. So let's get her open and see uh, exactly what we have going on. All right, guys. So here we have Harley Quinn open up and out of her packaging. And like I said initially, this is my favorite of the first series of the Arkham City figures. But that being said, I still have a lot of problems with this one. Now the sculpt in general is not too terribly bad. I really do kind of like it. It's a nice update and very accurately recreates how she looked in the game. Unless you include the, the Harley's Revenge add-on bit where she does look a little bit different and hopefully we do get a variant of that figure. That'd be cool. But there are some changes between this mold and the original Arkham Asylum one. As you can see, here's the, the new Arkham City figure and here's the original Arkham Asylum version. Now, one thing that a lot of people are going to notice right out the bat other than the fact that she's wearing a different kind of outfit and when it comes down to it it's really not all that different when you look at the subtle differences um but she is a much shorter figure the the reasoning behind that is if you look on the side get out of the way gun uh, if you look on the side here she's kind of on more of a, a platform sort of shoe these ones are still kind of platform ish but you can definitely see that these ones are extended upward almost like she's purposely tied bricks to the bottom of her shoes almost i mean the, because otherwise the boots in general really kind of look the same now they're a little bit different of a color this is a much darker i, I don't want to say black but maybe a black whereas this is kind of a purple they are different uh, in terms of the molding but very similar in terms of the look still uh, and then you can see the red ones here on the side and yeah you can you can see how how these kind of give a more high heel sort of look whereas these ones are very flat so the the original harley figure is a bigger figure in terms of the size and then some things that you are going to notice that are actually kind of the same is it really does kind of look like she's wearing the same kind of corset right up in here uh those are kind of the same as well now obviously different mold because the whole torso bit is a different mold than this one but you can really see a lot of similarities a similarity bleh, sorry between this right here in this section and then she's got the whole nurse outfit here at the top area uh, now they did add on her tattoos which she does have in the new arkham city game you have one on that shoulder um i think that's it oh she also has one kind of here on her hip which this obviously doesn't have but my biggest complaint really is the, the face paint on this now while the paint job on this one isn't terribly bad you can definitely see that just the paint in general on the original arkham asylum version is just much better looking i think it's it's not a kind of drab boring look like this one and then she's got a lot more kind of details in her hair i mean you got the black kind of going in there this is a lot more even it's like she just recently had her hair dyed or something but you can also see that the skin tone and i know that looks kind of awkward but her, her boobs look bigger on on the new one i don't know that that's kind of weird or maybe it's just the way that this outfit is on her on her chest area but you can see in terms of the chest that this one has a darker skin tone to it this one is really kind of pale and that really kind of bugs me now again don't get me wrong i do like this figure i, I think the previous version though is the far superior looking figure now in terms of her accessories he, she only comes with this bat and uh that's really kind of unfortunate you know at least the other one came with a couple accessories she came with the the staff and the, and the and the gun but the bat itself is not too bad um i mean nothing spectacular with it i mean it's kind of got this barbershop pole effect going on but it's a bat and she also does come with the just 
generic black display stand but zooming in here to kind of show the details off a little bit more you can see there is a lot of nice details on there i mean she's got the the new outfit very similar to how it actually is supposed to look in the cart the, the video game I, I almost said cartoon uh, but i do like the fact that she's got a real metal chain right here that's definitely a nice touch and in general i mean like i said it is a very nice looking figure but still subpar when compared to the original in terms of her articulation her head's on a ball joint so you get a little bit of pivot back forth like so that i mean not a heck of a lot rotates left and right nothing at the waist the shoulders here are on pin and socket joints so you get a nice range of motion all the way around for those they bend here at the elbow they also rotate at the just a little bit above the elbow she rotates at the wrist so good level of articulation there like i said nothing at the waist the legs here move forward and back and kind of i mean she goes back further than she does forward so that's kind of annoying she rotates here right above the knee she bends at the knee and that's it and that's on both sides here so the level art of articulation is pretty much standard with these figures it, you, you pretty much know what you're going to get and it, it's really not a hell of a lot i mean they, they are really kind of designed as you know display pieces more than anything else oh and that's that's loose i didn't know that that's that's separate from the actual body and then you can <laughs> uh, she's kind of got her little her her panties pulled up here on the side um i guess i'll allow the first figure because that had that but we're just gonna leave that down and kind of and then you can see her tattoo a little bit more there and for the life of me i can't make out what that tattoo is at all but oh look you can kind of your little belly button right there curse you tiny belly button now the bottom line is i really think that this version of harley is the best out of the series one figures from the new arkham city toys followed closely by robin and lastly by batman himself but all in all she isn't my favorite version of harley that we've gotten so far i really think some of the minor paint issues that i have with this really keep this from being my favorite version of harley just i i, I mean the face I, I could get away with I, I i'm okay with that but the skin tone just like all the other figures the skin tone is far too pale the previous arkham asylum figures had much more of a richness to the skin tone that just looked a lot better if you ask me so while I do recommend this figure mostly because it, it, it's a Batman figure, it's from the video game, and a lot of people that are fans of the video game are going to like this just in general, I do recommend it on those points just by themselves, but just know that it, it, it's not the best version. If you're on a limited budget and you want to get the best Harley from the video games, I would probably get the original Arkham Asylum version of her before I would get this one. And at some point in time, I really do hope that we get a variant of this, kind of how she looks in the actual Harley Quinn's Revenge downloadable content that we've recently gotten. I think that would look pretty cool. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, this has been Optibotomous. I want to thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you later.